absolute favorite dish, pho. Once a month, we will try to make pho um, for one week. Then we'll meal prep on the weekend and we'll make the um, we'll make the noodles um, you know, during the day and we'll have pho for, 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 for one whole week um, every month. Roughly we're making like, I would say eight portion, eight servings. So um, I will take like one big um, yellow onion. I just cut it, cut them in quarters. And after this, we can either put it in um, in a pan to char it or we can also just put it in the oven um, for the setting and broil. I'll take the bigger pieces. Yep. So now the onion and the ginger are in the oven. I'm gonna introduce the, um, the herbs that we need for this. So uh, we need um, four cardamoms. Um, I think they're like also the green ones, but um, get the black ones. These are the cinnamon sticks. They're roughly four whole sticks, um, but I, I just like kind of broke them. And these are um, roughly 10 star anise, um, and then roughly eight, I would say like six to 10 um, cloves. And usually you have to put in coriander seeds, but it's that's something that I don't have now. So um, I'm just gonna use some substitutes. Uh, so I'm gonna use um, fennel seeds. This is one tablespoon. And I'm also adding some cumin powder. And uh, I will also put in fresh coriander. So this is my substitute for um, coriander seeds. That's what you should put, uh, also one tablespoon. Okay, so I'm just gonna break them. Okay, and the cardamom pot. Okay, so they're all here. I'm just gonna put them in the pot. And we're just gonna um, toast them. Toast them in the pan for three minutes. So the fragrance will come up. But like, don't do it for too long. Don't burn your, um, don't burn your herbs. And you can definitely get the grounded ones. Like you can get the, the grounded sarnies, the, the powder form. You can get the powder sarnies, you can get the powder. Um, cardamom, you can get powder, um, coriander seeds, but um, I like to do it this way. Yeah, like, so you can toast them before you put them in um, like the, the future bag and put it in your soup. At the same time, um, I'm gonna blanch, uh, blanch the beef bones. Yeah. So I will just put all the beef bones in the soup pot. We just put in cold water and um, to cover the bones. I will also blanch um, the big shrimp at the same time. Now that I'm gonna use, smell all your herbs, they're ready. I'm just gonna put them here. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put um, all the herbs inside these coffee filters and wrap them up. Um, it's been a while and now the ginger and onions are ready. Yeah, slightly burned. And these are all the herbs um, that we needed. They're also ready. And now let's check on the meat. Okay. It's um, pretty good. Okay, let's pour out the water. We don't want these. Let me rinse all the bones. Now I've rinsed all the bones at the beef shrank, I'm just putting onions and um, ginger. I just fill in the water, now we're just let it, um, let it bring to a boil and then we'll uh, let it simmer for I would say 5 hours and it will be ready. Now I'm gonna take out all the um, ingredients that I put in, including the beef bones, ginger, onion, and herbs. So I'm just gonna take it out. It has been two and a half hours now, and now I'm just gonna add um, yellow rock sugar, fish sauce, and also salt. And uh, I also wanna introduce this thing to you. So this is something that um you can get from some Asian supermarkets, and this is this is something that is really easy. This is basically beef um, beef broth powder. Um, rock sugar and fish sauce in there. So um, if you use this, you don't need to like simmer for so long. You probably only need to simmer for like half an hour and you don't need to add like all the beef, uh, beef bones. You also don't need um, 
to put all the herbs because um, it also comes with um, a, a packet of herbs so this is something that we use most of the time because it's a lot easier um, if you don't want to get all the ingredients but um yeah try to find this in your local markets yeah now it looks like this fish sauce now i'm gonna cut the beef here This is the broth at the end. So, let me just show you. This is a soup from overnight. Um, I like to leave it overnight so that uh, you can get rid of the oil very easily. Let's do that. In our home, we like this brand the best, but, um, the elephant brand. So, these are just like different ones. Uh, this is the biggest one, this is the medium sized one. Okay. Yeah, and the green one is the thinnest one. Our fern needle is um, almost ready, and I'm also heating up the soup at the same time. And now I'm gonna cut some. This is beef fern. Uh, I also have some hot pot, really thin beef slices. And usually, we also put some beef balls. These are the homemade beef balls. Um, so I'm just gonna put them in now. And we also have some beef um, from the soup. We already put in the uh, cut onion, um, some raw beef and some black pepper and now we're just gonna put in the hot soup meat we also prepare all the veggies bean sprouts some um, lime chili thai basil and cilantro and you cannot not have these poison sauce and sriracha for your noodles all right let's eat We finish off. Uh, I'm really full. <laughs> this is just something that we love. My favorite food, pho and sushi. I can never have enough of it. I hope you also like it.